The challenge was a tough one, to walk once again on one's own, regardless how long it's been or how difficult it will be. On Wednesday, this medical miracle was achieved in Lausanne, Switzerland by Gert Jan, a 40-year-old Dutchman who was paralyzed 12 years ago after suffering a spinal cord injury in a biking accident. Now, thanks to a new device, he can trigger his movements by thought. The interface uses algorithms based on artificial intelligence methods to decode brain recordings in real time. It then converts his movement intentions into impulses that end up activating the muscles in his legs. This connection between the brain and the spinal cord is called a digital bridge. To create this digital bridge, we need to do two operations. The first is in the brain, where we implant two devices in the motor cortex, the region responsible for motor control. And then we do a second operation at the level of the spinal cord, where we implant electrodes on the region of the spinal cord, which is responsible for the activation of the legs. It is then, when these two implants are put into service and communicate, that walking will take place. Since receiving the two implants, Gert Jan has been training every day. With the brain-spine interface, I can control the stimulation by thought, so I can decide when to start and when to stop with the stimulation. I am in full control of what the stimulation does. And that gives me a lot of freedom. At the heart of this scientific achievement, the French neuroscientist Grégoire Courtine and his Swiss team. The advance is a result of more than a decade of work by a team of researchers in France and Switzerland. What really surprised us was that by using the digital bridge, Hert Jan was able to regain the use of muscles that had been paralyzed for many years. This suggests that the nerve connections have grown back in response to training with the digital bridge. Given this medical and scientific success, the Swiss team is preparing to launch a similar trial to restore function into the arms or hands. The hope is that within a few years they can help stroke patients regain motor functions.